That's Pascal in the uh, with his factors just now talking. That's Lala in the, in the next next him on his left. That's Raymond Elliot's um, husband that Rosina's just kissing a lucky man. First, first one. First one. <laughs> Side of the road in a traffic jam with an antenna rain. <laughs> you won't believe this back at home. <laughs> REC at the top. Yes. Very good. You got it? <laughs> Move it slowly, otherwise it's very jerky. Yeah. <laughs> Great. This is where the kings and queens of Madagascar are buried. This is the palace they built, which was burnt down recently. And these guys are restoring it. We can get the pace to go in. It'll take about a thousand years. <laughs> Seminars. Yeah. 
and uh, this lake this lake is, is Mount Cesar Mount Cesar, yes, yeah. where we got it's, our water, drinking yes, water. Yes, the reserve of the oh, okay. green valley yeah. with a vegetable plant yes. for the goats and the rest of it is big, uh, uh, the best uh, field spread. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, there is majority of So that, yes, okay. And uh, this uh, by the first military French in 1990. Where is that? The general French uh, TZ. So uh, she, wa she was exiled of the Nigeria to last school. Yes. In that, 1990. That is the, is no, Anna Paula mm. Yes. Okay. And she died in Algeria in 1970. Mm. Where the date of Pudida was back here. 1938, by colony movement, colony, colonialism. Yeah. So it was built in the memory of the martyrs. Mm. And which queen, what, what, say, what, what year was it that they were killed? Uh, 18, 1837. 1837. Is it used as a church today? Yes. yes. So Father, queen. Uh, Pass up the discourse the of the population the royal. Mm. And then in the colony uh, moment, where uh, they take this one for the stadium of a uh, sports game. And in 1960, the General de Gaulle take up the discourse of declared the uh, independence. So what's the, the significance of the angel? in the lake. What is the significance of the It's the angel? memory of one remind by Malagasy victims in the first war in 14 and uh, in 44. Yes. And uh, that's the end of the queen again. Uh, yes. Just what wrap them in a what did she wrap them in? Um uh, they wrap them in a what? Yes, in a, in a silk tight. Silk tight. Yes. Oh. So they couldn't wriggle out. And the oh, tie. Yeah. And tie. And they would just push down here. Yeah. Push down. Yeah. Mm. Well, we think it's bad news if you get told off for not going to Bible study. This is Antananarivo University, where Rosina worked for 12 years before coming to England. This is the main concourse. This, believe it or not, is the student accommodation. It looks like an army barracks without the windows.
is a student accommodation now in prefabs and they recently went on strike to keep them because the university authorities were trying to take them away to be used for staff workers. I can't imagine a strike to stay here. Go on and tell us about it. Okay, this is the, the GBM Center, and it is a place where the GBM could have their different activities, like having a camp, uh, groups, meetings, and uh, everything of the GBMC use, even Tanaka River especially, could use for their activities. So Luba is the one who is in charge of the center and uh, John and Katie Williams, they live nearby in this big house there, over there. Okay. So this first room belongs to Luba and uh, his wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. they, lives, they, lives, they live in this, in this room. Okay. And uh, this one is the, where they have the, the booklet, the production of booklets. That is what John Williams does actually, product producing booklet for EGBM or EGBM. So this is for use place. for use in the universities and the yep. colleges, yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. also. There are some churches who came to buy those booklets to for their people in the church. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are study rooms for everyone. For one Yes, everyone would like to have a quiet time for their studies, so they can use this room for that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so now, it, because there is a camp just now there, mm -hmm. the, the um, students who are doing their leadership training program, they are upstairs, and they use this room um, okay. as their bedroom. Okay, yeah. yeah. So they use this room for them to stay, really to stay all the time here while they are doing their you know, studies at the university. The university are, is up there and there's few students living here you now. This is just where the UGBM centre is situated. Give you an idea of the desirable environment. <laughs> 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 this is what? This is Lala, the general 
secretary. Um, so, Harlan in the corner of the secretary, and we have here friends of UGBM. Is this what we can say? Friends of UGBM, that's right. And there's Harley, is this how we pronounce the name? The new <laughs> Harley, the new, the, new, the new president. That's fine. In this little office where, that's right, where it all happens, there's the drinks, and I can't, I don't know who this is, but. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh no, they are going, yes, it is. It is used to. Oh, yes. kind of things they tell you to make fire. Right. Yeah, make fire. Yeah. Yeah, 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 tell us, tell us exactly what that what, what that is. <laughs> what, what They'd be amazed. Go on. You're comparing the the film. Which <laughs> number? You just explained clearly because. Yes. Yeah, go on. Do know. want to hear. Changes. The film, series. yeah, film. that's great. Good to you don't mind, do you? Okay, uh, my name is Lema I'm, I'm 19, I'm studying uh, economics at the university, second year. Great, <laughs> okay. I'm uh, Stefana, I'm uh, 14, I study at uh, SKA in Antalya in the capital of Madagascar. Uh, yes. um, I'm still a student. Great. And a fan of Manchester United, they'll be even more amazed at that. <laughs> hey, name and what you study and what you're doing. What I'm doing, okay, my name is Ridzo, I'm 16 years old. I'm uh, Pascal's daughter and I'm uh, still in high school. Later, I like to do uh, psychology. I like to do something in psychology, something like that. Yeah. Great. Good. Great. This is Pascal, I think we've uh, yes, seen him before. And this is, is it Chantel? Have I got the. What's, the, what's, 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 your, what's Pascal's wife's name? Come on, remind me. What's your name? I'm Chantal. Chantal, I did it right, you see, yes? Yeah, there we are. Pascal's wife. Yeah. Um, Doing a great job with lunch, absolutely amazing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Rosina and I will never eat again, and this, is a, and, it, and this is a lovely big room with absolutely magnificent views outside, which I will just now show you.
This is just a stop on the road out of Antananarive. It's absolutely beautiful around here. This is a centre at the top of the road for delinquents and teenagers. What a lovely setting. Here we are, just at the side of the road, but this scene is not just a one off I've picked out. This is all over the place in the towns and out in the country. The difference is out in the country the water is probably cleaner in the town so the lovely looking waterways are actually just horribly polluted. I'll leave it to your imagination. And then we just dry the washing at the side of the road. Or in this case, on these rocks over there. Driver, before we. Okay. <laughs> He's done sterling service for us. <laughs> In our love. This is just another stop on the road. If you've stopped anywhere and got shots like this for these little houses. Some of them look quite cute, but what they like to live in, I don't know. These clothes are just incredible. And here we are at uh, Nosy Bay um, in this five star hotel. Um, all part of the uh, Missionary work, struggling along in uh, in Madagascar here. The sun is absolutely beating down. And the humidity is high. Okay. At some stage, we're going to have to go down to this glorious beach. I presume this is the Indian Ocean with the local vegetation. I think the boat trip is booked. For Wednesday and the massage for this afternoon and the 4x4 tomorrow. We've got it all to do. Hold it. I'm just pointing out on the commentary what a tough life it is to be a missionary. These are sugar plantation worker houses in Nosy Bay. They're just concrete domes, and this is where Rosina used to live when she was a little child. Her father was a sort of a manager, I understand. So these are the best business houses. 
local farmers. This is Mercy Bay. And in this beach, it's quite a special for me because you know we are used to come here when we are little and uh, just to go around and uh, to swim. This beach is the nearest from the town. That's why we are used to really to come here. Uh, there is quite nice beaches somewhere, but a little bit far from, from the town. It's quite nice. Here's your local shop. So every possible necessity. Uh, here's a very tidy looking village street with local transport. This is Rosina's local bay. Her home village was just in the hills behind, so this is where she played as a little girl. This is the docks here where the sugar's brought down on these trains. And apparently, although the trains look absolutely derelict, they are used sort of once a year at Harvest Town. I don't know if you can see that one just down there. There they are. And at the end there is a petrol sort of dump where her father worked for a time as well. You can see the local, see the local animals, unfortunately. I don't know what they used to do in here. Presumably they're fishing. And unfortunately also you see the rubbish on the track and it all looks pretty. <laughs> Just a, we've driven through about two miles of sugarcane fields on rough tracks. The sugarcane sometimes over the height of the four-wheel drive we've hired. We we'll come to this spot, just amazingly beautiful. Where people come to worship ancestors or everything they may worship. Yeah. You can see here uh, red cloves, white cloves, and bottles. It is any time for over me, Fangatang and Sara. What a woman of what? Yeah. What all Ulurum Sulu is a dancing? Sarni Susanna. Yeah. Take Monday to his man, what does a company Susanna? Anna, meet him Tonda Romi, the Trarek, the Na, until Nafandama de Trareki, Nazacom Tonda Umberek, Zing and Tanomisi upon the wound. They are ringing. Bit, ring rab, from amazing it. Okay. Yes, the man tried to um, explain that this place, people come if they have something to ask. For example, uh, a couple, one couple doesn't, couldn't, uh, uh, couldn't have children, so they would like to have children. So they come here and uh, ask for that and uh, make a vow. That vow? Vow. Vow. <laughs> Make a vow and say that if we get, we have, we'll have children later on, we'll come here and uh, we'll give you um, a bottle of, of rum or a bottle of honey or bring a cow. That's why you, you see all those bottles there. And uh, here is, there is this um, cow, I don't know how to say it. 
it, 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 it means that someone have brought it. Oh, that is what this place is for. So this is like the cow's horn? Did yes, they, exactly. they actually brought the cow here and yes, killed it? And, uh, yeah, and they killed it here, because that is the vow. Yeah. Mm. So, quite special, and when people usually show things, see things a little bit special, they just take it as something to be worshipped. Yeah. Oh. And yes, this kind of tree, people just get it um, as a worshipping place. Look at the uh, driver. Strong, those, those, those. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you call it? Yeah, well, branches or yes, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Quite mm, strong. Lots of caviar, no? Let's not. Yeah. Lots of caviar. Lots of. Then toothpaste. Uh huh. You know, the branch goes up. Yeah. And then it brings these uh, younger branches, and the younger branches came down, and uh, have his. It's root. If we look at this branch, it goes down, 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 quite a big branch, almost like a little tree, then it goes back into the ground again. Yes. And there's lots and lots of them. It is really weird. <laughs> well done. Why any cyclone can't to do anything about it. It's quite strong. So, are there many trees like this here in, in Nosy Bay? No, this only one. But in other place, yes. Island there. So, is that what that yes, island is? Yes, the, the big island there is not. We see it like far from here, but it's from the city, it's not that far. So we are, we are going there to see the lemur, lemurs. It's quite um, a big one. And uh, my uncles, three of them, they live in that island. So there's a little one there. It is the Ma marine reserve, how do you say that? Yeah, sea, re sea reserve or some sort. Reserve marine, something. marine. Yeah. So if you are happy to go there, it's yeah. Nice. And these ladies here? That have been so this lady th here, they are working on those stones, break it down and uh, everything like that, and uh, put it into the sack or this. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and put it. And it is for sale. And the people came to buy it to build the houses. Yes. They are used for building houses. It's just what I wanted, a, a bag of stones. Okay, so we should bring it from here. Um, we live at that time. But we go to see my auntie and uh, I really tell you. But this is my village where it brought up. The family brought me up. In Bavana, look up. Chief, I'm going for Does this lady mind mind if I film? Okay. Smile. Smile. Outside for you to stay. Yes. Yes. This is your mother's I, sister, is it? Yes, it's my mother's sister. Oh, God. 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 Oh, so that we can see 
where you used to live because they'll all be so interested to know. Yeah, so that means that I'm used to live in this place like this when I was young. So my auntie now lives in this place, but it is always like this. Yeah, and we are, I am so happy you come. <laughs> oh, <good>. Thank you. <laughs> Visiting us. Yeah. 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 Happy to be here. Yeah. 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 Uh, where where do you come from? <laughs> uh, was she was she Manchester? So how have they caught them? How have they caught them? You know they go there by this kind of boat there, you see there? Yeah. And um, they just use this fishing, fishing, I don't know how to say that. Oh, I, I see. I'm laughing for the cost. So it's a little bit of a hot cigar. And how much have we paid for it? Quite a little. Go on, tell me. 25,000 Malagasy two, francs. Two pounds fifty. Two pounds fifty. Yeah. Tell us where this is. Oh no, I don't know. This is um, uh, Isaac Fitton and the TV. <laughs> this is Andilan and Andilan is quite a very nice beach here because it is far away from the city and if you can see there the wet beach there further ahead uh, there is a big very big hotel in this place and it was really very famous before but I don't know what it what happened to it now but we are going to see it's quite nice here and the sand is quite white and the sea is very calm and it is always like this. Thank you. 
So they are going to say things now. Right, okay. Yeah. I'll just get a, a view. This is the kitchen of this mm. lovely little home of Rosina's mother. Firto? My name is Diogène and I'm Firto. And I'm five. Okay, okay next, then. Thanks. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm yeah, my name is Eugenie Larsa and I'm nine. Okay, yeah. next. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my name is Eulange Eugenie and I am 11. Yeah, that means. Uh, I'm Marcelin, I'm uh, the uh, youngest brother of Rosina. Great, okay, well done. And here is the star. Uh -huh. I'm Rosina Gnada, my name is Mbotizan. I'm so happy to be here. I'm 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 all these chairs, it's a, it's a suite rather like we had actually. It is. Anyway, <laughs> this is a bedroom here. This is really a palatial mansion. You see, it's all made of this wood. There's a tin roof. There's another bedroom here with bunk beds where her brother lives and sleeps. And this is another bed here. Uh, you touch me, you touch me, you two touch me. Yes. Recording now, so you, you, all you've got to do is point. Okay then. So I'll say your speech again. Okay, here is my mum and Colin in my mum's little house. And my mum is so happy. I've been calling, holding her and being here. That's great. Yep. Okay? Yeah. That's good. Here's a test for you. What were you, little children? Come on, it gets. Hold on, should yeah. 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 It's okay now. Yeah. Go on, that's it. That's good. That's really good, that. <laughs> so you'll be able to see that one day. Yeah. Mm. So what happens now? So we say goodbye and we go. Yeah. Go home. Go home to the hotel. I don't know. My sister-in-law. She's not been on the shot yet. Yeah. Here we are. Go on, you say something, yeah. Alice, is it? <laughs> My name is Arlette. Those little, three little kids are my children. I know. They're yeah. lovely. And Arlette are my brother's wife. That's good. Now, what would you children say if you could come back to England with me. Would you like that? Yeah, all of you. Wouldn't, wouldn't you miss your mum? 
Oh, yeah. So Alex said that I am her sister-in-law, her brother-in-law, and her mom. So the kids would like to go with Kulin, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> My school, when I was little, the age from 8 to 10. Yeah, we're in Nusi so Bay. An advent, yes, it is a Nusi Bay. So it is an Adventist school. And uh, they have taught us a lot about the Bible, actually, in this school. But uh, as the lady here, just nearby, said, they have exp expanded the, the school a lot lot bigger than now. What? Is it on stilts for any particular reason? Sorry? It's just outside the school, in those great town itself. It says. This is the Mosey Bay port, which is a big place for prawn fishing, so those are the prawn fishing boats there. This is the catamaran, which is to go across the island of the lemurs that we should have gone to look at, but didn't. And some more fishing boats. And here, I don't know whether you can see or not, here we have a Renault 4 convention basically. Just to get in when I'm ready. Really? You know? I don't know. I didn't know what they said, but I was the one left. I was the one left on the side. You didn't want to get in? No, I didn't, but I'm just waiting. And it happens that suddenly I was crying. Mm. Crying a lot and a lot and a lot. And when I was looking, everybody is already on the boat. Mm. It is just some kind of feeling. I don't know what, yeah. when, where yeah. does it happen. And then you just got in. Yes, and then I got in and my mom was crying. And the boat body went this way. Mm -hmm. And from far, I could see my mom going this this way. Yeah. And I could, I could keep my eyes. I kept my eyes looking at her going this way. Because from the sea, you can't see yeah, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. It's a very sad day. Oh, yes. This is uh, Music Bay Market in full, full flow. I'm sure Rosina spent many a happy hour here in the past.
There you are. You're on film. Eugene's house, which is he just built, finished building in March and he is rightly proud of it when you compare it with some of the others. First graph then smile, come on, so that's it, that's a winning smile. Yeah, that, that smile's going to get you a long way, I can tell you. I think you've learnt it from Auntie Rosina. There's the shower and there's the toilet locked. And there, another big smile, that's it. And here's Eugene, Rosina's brother. That's good. And here we are again. And what, what's this table for here? That's the washing up table. And there's the well that we've dug. So Eugene's just dug seven metres down. I've got two lads to do it. And that is the well. You just dump the bucket down and everything comes out of that. And this house is on a really steep slope. There's no planning permission or anything. And those, he's got three concrete posts, but they're only 18 inches into the ground. And I don't know if this will just give the perspective of the steepness of this slope, but you can't stand on it. And the thought of sleeping in this, on those posts, does not appeal to me. But everybody is very pleased with this. And they are a lovely family. Now this is the garden. So he's hoping to build another house right where this is now and rent it out so the kids can just sign it there. Play in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's two local kids. <laughs> you and we'll show it you. We'll show, we'll show you. You, you, stay, you stay there. Right. Stay. <laughs> stay there. One more. And again. Right, smile, smile, come on.
Call it. You come up the stairs just behind me back now, and you walk along here, which is really not bad at all. It's got this new grill. This is the view from the balcony. And you turn into the sort of lounge, which was absolutely immaculate when Rosina and I arrived, but now we've made a complete mess of it by opening all sorts of luggage and stuff, which is a pity. And the girls had kept it absolutely just so. And there's the, obviously the dining room table, and they've had a sneak opening of just one present, which is that photo of ours, which has got pride of place now. And we go round into the study, which you can see has got Bruce and Beatrice. Um, where's the others? Oh, yes, me and Lois. And here's a computer under a cloth. And this is the desk. Now the question is, there's Bruce, pride of place, and there's me, and there's me and Lois. So I think that's one up to me. There's some sort of typewriter in the corner. We're moving out now, and there's the lovely lady herself. And we move around into the bedroom, which is absolutely lovely. Rosina's bedroom, which she's donated to me for tonight with the mosquito nets and the lovely net curtains and this lovely bedroom chair and two windows and an exit door onto the veranda and this wardrobe here, the lounge now and so this is the hallway and here we have a sort of room at the end oh yes, a little spare bedroom where Rosina's going to sleep with that Mary that's staying in February I think it's a lovely little room Rosina thought it was perhaps too small coming back down the lobby and on the right we have the kitchen there's a 1950s gas type stove there. You'll notice it's just the one cold tap and some sort of hot plate, I imagine. And what well, I must admit is not the best part of the house the shower with the one cold tap, and it's all pretty basic as you can. I'm not especially looking forward to this experience, but there we have it. Well, that will come out on the video. This on the left is the girls' bedroom, all beautifully tidy with the mosquito nets tied up. A lovely little work desk, and a little Just the drawers and things. Another door out onto that patio area. Rosina has done it really nice. Looks they seem to have some sort of technical pitch here again. I know it is just filling. Another spectacular view out the window. We have some sort of um, storeroom at the end. It's all in all actually not a bad flat out. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
presidential elections. Obviously, Greece is somewhat more enthusiastic than ours. Hairdressers having that magic hairdo again, and she's had to wait because there was no water, there is no water in this place. And the guy goes across the road and buys it in a big tin tub and pours it into this thing in the corner. What you also see it's a funny sort of like shop come warehouse, and we're in the, the hairdressing bit. and there's the tub of water in the corner. And there's where the hair washing takes place. And here's a shop behind which is selling all sorts of clothes. It's just amazing. No water in the shop. It's absolutely baking hot. Say hello to the camera. Go on. Brilliant. Pressed with that back at home. The two of them were to leave leadership training for them and they've been distant places. This is just so yeah. typical, this. Everything happens on the street, and everything from your boats to fruit, to tin pots, buckets, clothes. Push, push, push. 
things. This is from the Christian Union on the way to Virginia's apartment. From Rosina's toilet window. Smile? No smile. <laughs> this is the Rosina's apartment. And this is the gate that we up to. It. This is the top of Rosina's road. the church, just a couple of hundred yards away, that Rosina goes to. This is uh, the other campus, and three wonderful students here. And how many live in this room? Three. Three, yeah. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> this is Majangi University again. Tenendo, me tenendo atendo que acho vite vite um. Amnido, me já falou? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Just so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. One more look at the camera, come on. No smile, great. My name is Francine. I'm studying in school of Saint Gabriel. I live in Taiwan, Zimbabwe, and
Uh, this is Lorna. Who's, who, yeah, who's going now? This is Joshua. Sean and Sue's son. Tell us your name and how old you are. And this is, go on, say who you are. I'm Lizzie and I'm three. Three. And whose sister are you? I'm Josh's sister. That's good. This is our little meeting hall, which is festooned with decorations by the old people who, who the hall belongs to, ready for Christmas. And there's Paul talking to. My daughter Rachel, who is up from London visiting, and her boyfriend Adrian. Here we have, here we have Shaw, who is our treasurer, responsible for keeping us on the straight and narrow with the money. Talking to David, one of our, our friends, who features for us regularly and has come today and knows Rosina well. And on the, le on the left is Jean. Who's David's wife? Has come to visit us for the day. And this is this is Lorna, one of our one of our faithful members. Hi, Bruce, working away unusually. Hi, Rosina. <laughs> Trying to make a contribution. Just a little contribution. Yeah. How are you doing, Chuck? I hope you're well. We're thinking about you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> There you are. And we've got your tablecloth on. Yeah, look at this. And the napkins. Look. Gift from your church. We're just setting out the table for lunch now. You can probably see from the film, it's the 16th of December. And here we have the ladies where they belong in the kitchen. There's Lois, and there's Sue, Sean's wife, and Beatrice. And our, I could describe you as an old friend, but perhaps better not. Paulie. Christmas decorations. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no,
December morning and this is the rectory where Lois and I live. We're just coming in the driveway now. As you see we have a long drive About a hundred meters long. Somewhat different to Lala's house. Here I am. Stood in the garden. It's unusual to have a blue sky like this in England in winter. trees have gone, are those that lose the leaves. That's the garage through there. It's our garden planter thing. That tree is a copper beech tree, an incredibly rich coppery colour in the summer. And you can see how magnificently big it is. And that there is the Anglican church next door. So, like Eugenie, is it the brother? We also live right next door to a, a graveyard. So this is up by the front door. And here we have the front door itself. to sign the old rectory and there you can see the drive that I've just come the gate into the church car park which is not used anymore the gate that is that's the garage with Lois and my car this is the, this is the courtyard back door and this is the garden looking down the other way. This is our garage as you can see these lovely big beams are in. This is my bicycle I go on sometimes. This is my lovely BMW car and that's Lewis's little car there. It's the outside of the boiler room and the kitchen inside. Right, this is Colin uh, setting out the Christmas lights. It's December the... I don't know. <laughs> What's the date today? It's on the it's on the thing. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. At the rectory. This is where I spend so much time on this seat here. It's Christmas Eve evening now. And we can see here. Somebody you recognise, I think. And my children. Christmas lights out down the drive. That's one of the cupboards, my stereo system. And these are large cupboards here containing all my files and documents and they're stacked 
floor to ceiling with papers. This is our, this is our hallway, the stained glass window at the end. This is our entrance hall, complete with Christmas tree and Rachel's painting. This is the view as you come in, with our little grandmother clock. That's the door of the stairs. And this here is me. This is our lounge all ready for our Christmas Eve dinner party. That's the chair I sit in so often looking down the garden. This is a real coal fire which is very wet and windy outside and that fire there puts quite a lot of heat out into the house. It's back in the hall. I don't know if you can just see those photographs of Rachel there. That's the big horse that she had later on. And there's the small horse that she first had when she was 11. She so much enjoyed those. This is our small lounge. But we come here after dinner. It's another of Rachel's paintings. There's some more of my books and music. That there's the door into the hall, the entrance hall. Now we come into our dining room, which is all set out for our Christmas Eve dinner with a nice log fire there and set out for eight places. And sadly, Rosina, you're not going to be here this year. There's the piano that never seems to get played these days. Hey Rosina, Eulalia and Francine, it's our Christmas Eve dinner party and it's so warm I'm no doubt in Majanga but it's really cold here and we're just waiting for our guests to arrive. So I hope you're having a good time, thanks for those emails this morning and maybe I'll see you next year. Okay. Two lane black stop straight through town, it gets cooler when the sun goes down, there's a go out, go grab yourself a cold one. Watch the world go on its way till even your light is gone. Colorado River runs slow and sweet, moves big rock shimmer in the big bay. Twelve wheel rig goes barreling by, heading west into the sunset. Don't scare yourself to death on a scooby side trail, and then you'll know what it is.
can't sing the blues anymore But I can't sing this song And you can't sing this song when I'm gone It won't be long before another day We're gonna have a good time And no one's gonna take that time away We can stay as long as we like So close your eyes You can close your eyes Can't sing the blues anymore, but I can just about sing. And angels long to look and see those promises fulfilled in the temple. Simeon wept many tears of joy. He recognized God's great salvation. One was in the to be a light in that dark world of sin and shame, to show us all the love the Father gives eternally. Jesus was born a baby just like you and me. With tiny hands and feet, he was a child who loved and cried. But unlike you and me, he came from Child, heaven come down, go oh, to be with us here. Heavenly love and mercy appear. Softly in our and wonder draw near to this heavenly child. This child rising on us like the sun. This child given to light everyone. This child guiding our feet on the path. Yeah.